Netflix drama The Crown faces criticism over a monstrous lie after blaming Prince Philip for the death of his sister Cecile. The makers of acclaimed TV drama The Crown faced a barrage of criticism last night over a monstrous lie blaming Prince Philip for the death of his sister. In the tragedy that has always haunted Philip, his sister Princess Cecile, eight months pregnant with her third child, was killed in a plane crash in 1937 while flying from Germany to London. But the writers of the £100 million Netflix series, which chronicles the Queen's life, have invented a scene in which Philip's father cruelly turns on him at the funeral, saying, You're the reason we're all here burying my favorite child. Royal historian Hugo Vickers called it a monstrous lie adding, This is a truly shocking invention since Prince Philip had nothing to do with his sister's air flight to Britain. He was in no way responsible for the accident. The scene features in the penultimate episode, entitled Peter Familias, of the second series which explores Prince Charles's unhappy school days at Gordonstown, interwoven with flashbacks to his father's time there. It is suggested, wrongly, that in November 1937, Philip, then 16, was due to spend half-term with 26-year-old Cecile, married to Grand Duke George Donatus of Hesse. This arrangement is said to suit his sister, apparently terrified of flying, because it will enable her to avoid traveling to London for a wedding. But Philip then punches a fellow pupil and as punishment is forced to remain at school during the holidays, leaving Cecile no choice but to accompany her family to London. Philip rings his sister hoping she will support him. Speaking from a German airport, she tells him she agrees with the head's decision and says she is now obliged to fly to the wedding. The camera then cuts to her boarding the plane. Mr. Vickers added, It's all a fiction. It was always Cecile's intention to go to the wedding. Her plane crashed after hitting a factory chimney in fog near Ostend on November 16. Also killed were her mother, her husband, their sons aged six and four, the lady in waiting and the best man. Firemen found the remains of an infant, prematurely delivered when the plane crashed, lying beside Cecile's body suggesting the pilot tried to land because she had begun to give birth. Prince Philip was particularly close to Cecile, the youngest of his three sisters, and being called into his headmaster's study to be told of her death was one of the worst moments of his life. Years later he wrote, I have the very clearest recollection of the profound shock with which I heard the news of the crash and the death of my sister and her family. It is true that Philip traveled to Germany for the funeral. But what happens next in the crown? say royal experts, is pure fiction. Young Philip, played by Finn Elliot, is presented to his mother Princess Alice and father Prince Andrew at the funeral. His father says, I'm surprised he dare show himself here, adding, had it not been for Philip and his indiscipline she would never have taken the flight. It's true, isn't it boy? You're the reason we're all here burying my favorite child. Get him out of here. A tearful Philip is then led away. Royal biographer Penny Jr. said, I know this is not pretending to be factual but it sails very close to the wine and I think this is a particularly nasty thing to suggest. I personally have never heard of any suggestion that Prince Philip was in any way responsible for his sister's death. It is very harsh and unfair to Prince Philip who is still living with this tragedy. Tory MP Jacob Rees Mop said, It's not surprisingly the most traumatic thing that's ever happened to Prince Philip and it is cruel particularly towards a man in very advanced years with great public service. It is understood Peter Familias was jointly written by the show's creator, Peter Morgan, director Stephen Dowdry and scriptwriter Tom Edge. Mr. Edge said last night, I can't comment. Neither Mr. Morgan nor Mr. Dowdry could be contacted. Netflix and Left Bank Pictures, the TV company which makes The Crown starring Claire Foy and Matt Smith, did not return calls. Buckingham Palace declined to comment.